Hey, my name is Kat Kerr, and today we're going to be playing with computer graphics, and we're going to be making this really simple but beautiful assemblage. Now, if you're not familiar with computer graphics, it's a computer printable transparent plastic sheet, and you can get it with or without an adhesive back. It comes in clear and matte, and you can use this in card making, jewelry, home decor, organization. There's tons of different design applications. Now today I'm using the clear adhesive backed film and I ran it through my inkjet printer and printed up some family images. I cut them out, trimmed the edges, and then removed the adhesive backing and applied them to a piece of matte Duralar film. Now I did this because I wanted all of the elements to be transparent, but I'm using the matte Duralar film because it's semi-transparent and you can just see little hints of the design underneath it. Here I'm just adding some stamped text to all of the images and I did the same with some larger size images. Now I ended up changing my mind like I always do and instead of wanting individual uh, images, I decided to place them all on one uh, full sheet of matte Duralar film. Now this assemblage was inspired by a quote that I read a really long time ago. It reads, an invisible red thread connects those who are destined to meet. Regardless of time, place, or circumstance, the thread may stretch or tangle, but it will never break. I suppose I just love the idea that the people that are in my life are meant to be there. Now here I've taken a needle and red thread, of course, and I can easily poke through the plastic. But the reason I love using this stuff is because it doesn't rip or tear. So I can puncture it with the needle and connect all of the images together, uh, but it won't continue to rip or tear or anything. It's extremely durable and I love that. Now I continue to add my red thread connecting all of the images together. Now, as I start getting close to the end, I start looking at the composition, making sure that one side is not heavier than the other. So I'm just making sure that there is an even amount of thread throughout the entire composition. Next, I add some X's to one corner of the sheet. I felt like it needed a little bit more in this one corner. And so I added an odd number of X's uh, just for interest. And then I added some art spray in black as well as gold. Next, I added my title using rub-on letters and I picked two different colors, obviously the black and the red. And it was a personal choice to put the word red off to the side. And so I simply rubbed them on and then I placed a piece of music sheet underneath it. And I simply love the way this looks. I especially love the way the thread looks behind the plastic. I think that looks really awesome as well as the music sheet and the way it all comes together. Now I did feel that it needed a little bit more weight and so I added some lines with a fine tip marker to just some of the images and then this piece is done. For more ideas on using computer graphics film, make sure you stop by graphicsarts.com. Thanks for watching.